Okay, walk it. Today we're looking at Thursday, December 6, quadratic regression on page 39. If you would, update your table of contents. All right, now your table of contents are updated. Let's take a look at your notes. Quadratic regression on page 39. Quadratic regression inspires steps. Step one, press the on button. Step two, select number one, new document. Step three, select no when asked, do you want to save unsaved document? Step four, add list and spreadsheets. Step five, complete the table. Step six, press control doc. Step seven, press five, add data and statistics. Step eight, tab X enter, tab Y enter. Make sure X is on the bottom, Y is on the left. Step nine, press menu for analyze six regression. Step 10, show quadratic. All right, if you would update your notes. All right, now your notes are updated. Let's take a look at the examples. All right, write the quadratic equation given the points from the table. Almost forgot, this is gonna be on page 39, okay? Write the quadratic equation given three the point from the table. So what you do is you're going to have your calculator. And there's a glare. So let me get that glare out of the way. Yay, no glare, I think. All right, so we're going to go to on, new document, no, add, listen to spreadsheets. I'm going to lighten the screen up a little bit. There we go. So X and Y. So then negative 2, 0, 2, 4, 9, 1, negative 3, negative 3. And you're going to press Control Doc, number 5, Tab X tab y menu analyze regression show quadratic now you can't see the equation so i'm going to move my cursor over the line press control click and the hand closes i can move the equation click again to get it away and there you go now you'll notice that it says plus negative three so that's actually minus three so our equation is y equals 0 0.5x squared minus 3x plus 1. Okay? All right, so now let's take a look at example 2. All right, so again, we're going to go to on new document, no, add list and spreadsheets, x, y, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 1, negative 10, negative 23, control, doc, number 5, tab x, tab y, Menu, Analyze, Regression, Show, Quadratic. Now again, I'm going to move my cursor over the equation and then control click to grab it, move it away. Click again to move the cursor and then you have your equation. Y equals negative 2x squared plus 0 0.2x plus 8. All right, so if you would finish up example 2. All right, now example two is completed. Let's take a look at example three. 
Complete information below based on Steve, Stephen Curry's graph of the three-point shot. Okay, so you can see here that this is F. Curry. Now, the ball before it was released at zero seconds was these are in feet, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 feet high. After released, it's 13, 14, 15 feet high. And then when it hits the ground, it's 0 feet high. Okay? So now we have our table. We're going to use the calculator to find the regression equation. So we're going to go to on, new document, no, add list and spreadsheets, x, y 0 0 1.5 3 1.5 12 15 0 you're going to press control doc number 5 tab x tab y menu analyze regression show quadratic now we're going to round each of those numbers to two decimal places, but I'm going to move my cursor, control click to grab it, move it down here, click to move it away. And so the equation of Steph Curry's shot is y equals negative 2.71x squared plus 6 point zero seven x plus twelve where x is equal time in seconds and y equals height in feet. Now, something to think about. This is the initial effect of gravity on the basketball. Here's the initial velocity of the basketball. So he's shooting the basketball at 6.07 feet per second. And the initial height of the ball was 12 feet. All right, example four. The table shows the price of an ice cream cake depending on its size. Find a quadratic model for the cost of an ice cream cake. Given the diameter, then use the model to predict the cost of an ice cream cake with a diameter of 18 inches. All right, so we're going to use our calculator. So we're going to come here. We're going to go to on, new document, no, add list and spreadsheets, x, y 6 10 15 seven dollars and fifty cents twelve dollars and fifty cents eighteen dollars and twenty five cents now i'm using x for diameter and y for cost okay so now we're going to do control Doc, add data and statistics, tab X, tab Y, menu, analyze, regret. If that happens, just go back. Menu, analyze, regression, show quadratic. Now I'm going to control click on the equation so I can move it down so I can see it. Move that away so we can see that our equation is we're going to use two decimal places. Y equals negative 0.01x squared plus 1.43x plus 0.67. Where x is the diameter in inches. And then y is cost.
All right. So to find the prediction, it says to find out the cost when the diameter of the cake is 18 inches. So we're going to substitute 18 in for x. So y equals negative 0 0.01 18 squared plus 1.43 times 18 plus 0 0.67. So we plug that into a calculator. We're going to go to on, new document, no, add calculator. We put negative 0 0.01, parentheses 18 squared. squared plus 1.43 parentheses 18 plus 0.67 so y equals $23.17 okay so what you would say is the cost of an 18 inch cake is $23.17. Okay, so with that, if you would, start your assignment and have a wonderful Wildcat day.